China has just unveiled its brand new lunar spacesuit, designed specifically for its highly anticipated crewed moon mission. This spacesuit isn't just a simple upgrade. It's a technological breakthrough that addresses the unique challenges of the lunar surface extreme temperatures, harsh radiation, and hazardous lunar dust. Developed by the China Manned Space Agency CMSA, this suit is a critical step toward China's goal of landing astronauts on the moon by 2030. Featuring state-of-the-art protective fabric, integrated panoramic cameras, and improved mobility for low-gravity operations, it's a game-changer for lunar exploration. In this video, we'll delve into what makes this suit so special and why it's a major milestone in the new era of human space exploration. China's newly unveiled lunar spacesuit represents a leap forward in design and functionality, tailored specifically for the harsh and unforgiving lunar environment. The suit, presented by the China Manned Space Agency CMSA, features a lightweight construction and cutting-edge materials designed to provide optimal protection and mobility for astronauts. This is not just an incremental upgrade from China's previous Fishin spacesuit used in low Earth orbit, it's a complete overhaul to meet the unique challenges posed by the lunar surface. One of the standout aspects of the suit is its integrated protective fabric, which shields astronauts from the extreme thermal environment on the moon ranging from freezing cold shadows to scorching sunlight, as well as the harmful lunar dust. This dust, which can be razor sharp and highly abrasive, has been a notorious issue in past lunar missions, clogging equipment and posing risks to astronaut safety. The suit's advanced fabric acts as a barrier against this dust, ensuring that both the astronauts and their instruments remain unaffected during lunar explorations. The helmet of the suit is another technological marvel, featuring a panoramic anti-glare visor that allows for clear vision even in the bright lunar daylight. The helmet also houses long and short focal length cameras, enabling astronauts to capture high resolution images and videos of their activities. The inclusion of a multifunctional integrated control console on the chest provides astronauts with the ability to operate various suit functions easily and efficiently, eliminating the need for cumbersome external controls. Moreover, the suit's mobility enhancements, such as new joint configurations, allow astronauts to move with ease, facilitating actions like bending, squatting, and precise hand movements. This is crucial for carrying out scientific experiments and operating tools on the moon's low gravity surface. By addressing issues of weight, mobility, and safety, this suit sets a new benchmark for Lunar EVA suits globally and underscores China's capability to develop high-end space technology. The development of China's new lunar spacesuit began in 2020, marking a series of critical technological advancements that have culminated in the suit's recent unveiling. This effort required overcoming numerous engineering challenges unique to the Moon's environment. Unlike Earth or low Earth orbit, the lunar surface presents complex conditions such as extreme temperature fluctuations, high radiation, and the abrasive nature of lunar dust. Each of these factors posed distinct challenges that demanded innovative solutions and rigorous testing. To address these issues, the China Manned Space Agency CMSA had to develop a material that could withstand both high and low temperatures while remaining flexible and durable. This was achieved by incorporating state-of-the-art fabrics that resist tearing and are impermeable to lunar dust. The materials used in the suit were extensively tested to ensure that they could perform under the extreme conditions of the moon's surface. For example, the suit needed to maintain its integrity in temperatures as low as minus 170 degrees Celsius and as high as 120 degrees Celsius, a range that very few materials can endure. Additionally, the material needed to protect astronauts from high levels of radiation, which is more intense on the lunar surface compared to low Earth orbit. One of the significant milestones in the development process was reducing the overall weight of the suit to accommodate the moon's low gravity environment. A heavy suit would quickly lead to astronaut fatigue and reduced mobility, impairing their ability to perform essential tasks such as collecting samples and operating equipment. 
Achieving this reduction in weight without sacrificing the protective qualities of the suit required several rounds of iterative design and testing. These repeated refinements ensured that the final suit was not only lightweight, but also offered maximum protection and flexibility. Additionally, integrating advanced technologies such as high-definition cameras and a multifunctional console required innovative engineering solutions. These components had to be compact, energy-efficient, and robust enough to operate reliably under lunar conditions. Achieving this delicate balance was no easy task, and it marks a significant achievement in China's suit development program. The result is a spacesuit that is not only lightweight and mobile but also equipped with all the necessary tools and technology for successful lunar exploration. The unveiling of the new lunar spacesuit is more than just a display of technological prowess. It's a critical component of China's broader lunar exploration strategy. The suit is designed to support China's ambitious plan to land astronauts on the moon by 2030, as part of a series of missions aimed at establishing a permanent human presence on the lunar surface. The suit's advanced features, such as enhanced mobility and integrated cameras, will enable astronauts to carry out a variety of scientific research activities and in situ resource utilization tests, which are essential for building sustainable lunar habitats. China's roadmap for lunar exploration doesn't stop at a single mission. The country has outlined a comprehensive plan that includes robotic missions in 2026 and 2028 to survey resources at the lunar south pole and test technologies for resource extraction. These missions will serve as precursors to the construction of the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS, in the 2030s. The new spacesuit will play a pivotal role in these efforts, providing the necessary protection and operational capability for astronauts to work in one of the harshest environments known to humanity. In the broader context of international space exploration, China's development of this suit and its lunar exploration strategy signify its intent to become a leading player in the new space race. While NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon, the recent delays and technical challenges faced by NASA could give China an opportunity to advance its own timeline and potentially gain a foothold in lunar exploration. The unveiling of the suit also serves as an invitation to potential international partners to collaborate on China's ILRS project. By showcasing its technological capabilities, China is positioning itself as a strong contender in the global effort to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon. In this video, we've explored China's revolutionary new lunar spacesuit and how it's paving the way for their ambitious crewed moon mission by 2030. We covered its advanced design, innovative features, and the critical role it will play in supporting astronauts on the lunar surface. We also delved into the technological milestones achieved during its development and the broader implications for China's lunar exploration strategy. We hope you found this breakdown insightful. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on this incredible development and what you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching and see you next time.